morning, everyone. I'm Contessa Brewer. Tax troubles once again threatening to derail a potential cabinet member, at the very least providing an unwanted distraction and new questions for President Obama and his administration. Today, Health and Human Services Secretary nominee Tom Daschle apologized for errors that led him to amend recent tax returns and pay $140,000 in unpaid taxes and interest. But Republicans say this may not be an easy fix. Some are wondering if this could obstruct his confirmation altogether. You have to be troubled by it. President Obama wanted to have a very ethical administration starting out and so on, but I think he's seeing how hard it is to avoid these kind of problems, and I just wonder if President Bush had nominated these people, what uh, folks would be saying about that. Bernard Whitman is a Democratic strategist. Andrea Tanteros is a Republican strategist. Good to have you both with me today. Bernard, what would you say to Senator Kyle? What, what if it was President Bush nominating people with these kinds of problems? I, I think we'd see the exact same treatment. I mean, everybody needs a full vetting here. Tom Daschle has been an extraordinary public servant for 30 years. The guy made an honest mistake. He reported it to the IRS. He reported it to the committee. He filed amended returns. He paid back taxes. He paid interest. And now I think it's time to move on and weigh the nomination on the but merits. But my understanding is that didn't happen until after he, he received the nomination to be the cabinet secretary. He was actually the one that raised the question with his accountant as to whether he had a potential tax liability with respect to the car and driver. And then at, at the same time, one of his consulting clients uh, came to him and said, look, we made a clerical error on your 1099, we underreported your income. He then went on to file an amended return for both the underreported income, which was the responsibility of his, of his employer, and the car, which was given to him as a gift. Okay, so Andrew, what's your take on all of this? It, it, he's going to be working on health issues. It's, it's not exactly the same as Tim Geithner, who's going to head up the IRS as Treasury Secretary. Here, uh, you have a guy who's going to work on health issues with some tax problems. Okay, so we're just supposed to, you know, look the other way and say, oh, just put him in because he's dealing with health and not taxes. Look, I think this is a very serious issue. I think the timing of it is very suspect. I mean, think about this. A driver in a limousine? This gives a whole new meaning to limousine liberal. And it also shines a light on something Obama said he wouldn't do, which was have lobbyists in his administration. Because now the Senate's going to look at how he made millions of dollars in between his time in the Senate and now. And look, it begs the question, is Obama bringing us extraordinary change or just common mistakes? Okay, so let me ask you, if you were a, a lawmaker voting on his confirmation, then would you vote no, keeping Tom Daschle out of the position of Secretary of Health and Human Services? I would, and I would have voted no with Geithner, but the Republican senators have put themselves in a very tricky position because they've let Geithner slide through, so ultimately, what is the onus now for Daschle? You know what I think this is? It's a return to the gotcha politics that the Republicans love. Uh -huh. This is uh, not, but it's a $140,000 mistake. But this is not, not a pattern. Change. This is not a pattern of abuse. This is something that the senator recognized himself, made amends, paid the Why money back as it? soon as he did. He raised this issue in June with his accountant. Mm. He did not wait until but Obama Bernard, had the Bernard, nomination. Think about he it, did though. not wait until the who's election. Actually he did not gonna, wait until the nomination. Who's causing him the most trouble right now? It's a Democrat. It's Max Baucus. It's a Democrat who's actually causing him the most actually, trouble. Actually, Mitch McConnell was so on, the, was on, was was on TV trying to shoot down the nomination. Not we know Max that there's a meeting on Capitol Hill today uh, about the Treasury Secretary, or uh, about the Health and Human Secretary nominee. Uh, so we will be watching for that. Andrea, Bernard, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.